Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Dylan here. Well, we have a major, major breaking news update with Donald J. Trump, so please thumbs up the video, comment below if you stand with Donald J. Trump, and now, and if you're rooting for Trump 2024, because boy, things are heating up. Now, before we jump in, as always, we are going to pray and read from the Bible, because God is number one and comment amen if you agree. I wanna see how many of, of you guys are out there who really do believe in God right now, that God is with us. Okay, this comes from the book of Proverbs. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. And I think right now, with everything going on, that we need to Call on God's name because he is a strong tower. Run to the tower and seek refuge, right? As God's children. So comment amen if you agree. <clears throat> My friends, we have some major updates with Donald J. Trump. His Fulton County trial will be televised and live streamed. The Georgia judge just said things are going down. Donald J. Trump just pleaded not guilty in Georgia case and is now seeking to sever the case from the co-defendants, Sidney Powell, Jenna Ellis, Rudy Giuliani, etc. Those people who want a speedy trial. Donald J. Trump just came out and, is, and said that he is open to having Vivek Ramaswamy as his vice president. Laura Trump says that Trump family plans to celebrate his mugshot together he said it's and she said that it's actually helping him the donald trump mugshot melania trump comes out and speaks about trump 2024 so we have a lot to cover right now but let's get started former president donald john trump's trial in fulton county georgia will be televised and live streamed uh judge scott mcafee said he will allow a YouTube stream of all related hearings and trials stemming from the investigation. The live stream will be operated by the court. There will also be a pool f coverage for television, radio, and still photography allowed. The former president has pleaded not guilty. He surrendered last week at the Fulton County Jail after he and 18 others were indicted for allegedly participating in a criminal enterprise. Trump is charged with 13 Felony counts. This will be the first time cameras would be allowed to capture full proceedings in one of the four criminal cases brought against Trump this year. Georgia allows cameras in the courtroom as long as they do not disrupt proceedings. Now, keep in mind, there is an investigation going on against Fannie Willis. But Brian Kemp is refusing, listen to this, to go uh, to uh, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp dismisses the GOP calls for special session to impeach District Attorney Fannie Willis. Right, they're calling to impeach him, impeach her, and she, he said, "I have not seen any evidence that DA Willis's actions or lack thereof warrant action by the Prosecuting uh, Attorney Oversight Commission." So this is really big, my friends. Directly interfere with the call. This is Brian Kemp. Call that in the final weeks of 2020, I clearly and repeatedly said that I would not be calling a special session of the General Assembly. So, Governor uh, Brian Kemp rejected calls from several far right lawmakers um, talking about that. Now, Donald J. Trump says that he is open to having Vivek Ramaswamy as his vice president. There's a new interview, my friends, and I wanna share some of it with you guys. That Donald J. Trump, this is Trump's last words. As of today, Trump's last speaking words. He showered, Donald John Trump showered Vivek Ramaswamy with praise when asked in an interview if he'd consider the 38-year-old Biotech entrepreneur for vice president. Why does it matter? It's the most Trump has weighed in on Ramaswamy's presidential candidacy. 
revealing his openness to a significantly younger and arguably more radical anti-Washington unknown. Trump called Ramaswamy, quote, smart and young and full of talent when asked by conservative talk show host Glenn Beck what he thinks of a Vice President Ramaswamy. He's a very, very, very intelligent person, Trump said. Trump said he's got good energy and it could be some form of something, Trump said of Ramaswamy. I tell you, I think he'd be very good. The exchange came less than a week after the first GOP debate, which Trump sat out but promised to watch for potential vice presidential picks. Interesting. What do you guys think about Trump and Vivek? Trump said he's going to he's starting to get out there a little bit. He's getting a little bit controversial. I got to tell him, be a little bit careful. Some things you have to hold in just a little bit, right? If I'm a betting woman, I wouldn't expect Vivek to hold back much. Ramaswamy spokesperson Tricia McLaughlin told Axios in response to Trump's suggestion. The big picture. Over the course of six months, Ramaswamy went from a largely unknown, long shot candidate polling at 1% to a serious upstart receiving incoming attacks from GOP contenders, including Mike Pence, Nikki Haley, and Chris Christie. So, with that being said, Donald J. Trump hasn't really talked about anybody else except Vivek Ramaswamy as being his VP. Now, Trump's courtroom calendar is clashing with his 2024 presidential election. The first GOP presidential debate was August 23rd. Trump organization's civil suit is on October 2nd. Coming up in January 15 is the Iowa caucuses. And on the same day, it's the E. Jean Carroll civil defamation suit with Trump. Super Tuesday is March 5th. And then right coming after that, is Trump's case with uh, Fannie Willis. And so we're really coming up soon with, you know, all of these primaries and everything. Laura Trump says Trump family is going to celebrate his mugshot. It's going to be on posters in dorm rooms across America. Um, Laura Trump says this mugshot you wait for, it's going to be on posters in people's dorm rooms. It's going to be on t-shirts describing it as the most famous mugshot in the world. She said it will be a flag flown by people who love this country because they're backing Donald Trump. So this whole mugshot stuff that they thought is gonna you know, be bad for uh, Trump, it's actually kind of backfiring. And this is going to be seen across the country. So we will keep you guys up to date with what happens with everything. But as of now, Trump's going full steam ahead and you guys are going to be shocked with i i just i just know i just know it's things are getting intense out there right now and we could all pray and pray more and just be there uh and and read the word of god like i said in a past video the word of god is a sword of the spirit so this comes from the book of deuteronomy we're going to end the video with one last bible reading be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen to that. Talk soon. Bye now.